All right, y'all, welcome back. We're talking about the Yamaha DM7 and getting it set up from the ground up and get you off and running. Last episode, we were talking about routing. And this episode, we're going to kind of talk about customizing the board to look the way you want. Um, and this just makes it more convenient and your workflow easier. So when you're actually in your live show, you know exactly where things are. And I'm also going to kind of explain some like cool features on how the board works. So setting it up this way also helps with like navigating things quickly. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Here. Right here, we're, uh, we'll recall my scene to start out here. Good to go. We'll go home. Now, on the DM7, if you have the compact, it's you only have one screen, one big screen. But uh, on the full size one, which we have, where we have two screens to work with. So I like to set up my center screen as uh, a certain way and my left screen a certain way. So up here we can see this bay C right here. And that's how I know I'm looking at the center screen. And then there's another one uh, that is the left screen. So on the left screen, what I like to look at is my inputs here. So across here, I can just navigate all the way down my input list here. I can also do that from here, which is great. Um, I just like to have it up here, it's great. And then now let's go back to my center screen here. On this one, I like to set this one to be outputs. So now I can look at, I can get to all my uh, IEMs quickly and sends on faders and all that kind of stuff. And this way I can use my left screen to navigate my input list, my center screen to input, uh, navigate my output list. And I don't ever have to press these ins or outs. I just know if I'm looking for outs, I'm going to my center screen. If I'm looking for ins, I'm going to my left screen. And then as far as the actual physical faders go, I set up custom layers so that the faders I'm looking at on the left side and the center side are exactly what I want them to be. So the first thing I want to do to kind of set this organization up is I want to go through and I want to set some DCAs up. So what are DCAs? DCAs it's like a group of channels. It, I can't process the DCAs. I can't do anything but group a bunch of channels onto a volume fader. And it also works with a mute as well. So that being said, I can't. there's a couple different ways to do this, like everything else on this board. But I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to channel job down here. And these are our DCOs, DCAs. So the first thing I want to go through is go and name them all. So for me personally, I like a drums all. Well, let's call it drums. Uh, good. And our drums are purple. DCA2. And we'll title this bass. And my bass is red. DCA3. We'll call guitars. And guitars are always green. This I'll call keys. Say okay, we'll always call that orange. We'll call this one tracks. We'll call this one vocals. So yellow, good. Let's call this one delays. And we'll call this one reverbs. And I like a band all, so this would be everything but the vocals. Band all, okay. Um, let's see this one, magenta, sure. Okay, that's pretty much the DCAs I wanna use. Now, on this screen, I can set up the grouping, so I can just click on this drums, and on my input, I can just really quickly go through and select all my drums, super easy. Um, so that one's set up, good to go, bass. This, I have one set up for this. You might only have like a bass or maybe even a bass sub, two channels for bass, but I also have uh, bass tracks. So I want those in there as well. So this way, all my bass elements, I can turn up or down um, with a single fader. And there's other cool tricks I'll show you here. Guitars, um, my two electrics and our acoustic. Good. Keys. We'll do keys one, keys two. And then tracks. I'm also going to put my bass tracks in here. And this way I can just like mute all of my tracks at one time. So like when the band's rehearsing or whatever, I can just mute all the tracks and just focus on the live elements in the room. And then I can bring the tracks back in and fade them in and do whatever I need to do with them. So I like that. 
vocals. So this, now I have these IEMs. Of course, I don't want my IEM microphones in my DCA. So I'm just gonna be putting my singing mics, which is one through six, seven or, and eight is like my host and my pastor mic. So I'm not putting those in there, just my singing mics for my vocalists. So those are good delays. Uh, I don't know if we've set this up yet. Looks like we have. So I have a delay here, I have a slap here. And that's good to go. And verbs, I'll go through here and grab my verb one and my plate. And that's great. Band all. So now this will be a combination of every instrument but my vocal. So I'm going to go all of these, including tracks. I uh, don't want my click. I don't want to affect the click volume. Now, click is going to be pre-fader in everybody's ears, so it wouldn't really matter. But again, I don't need it in this group because I'm not trying to mute it. I'm not trying to create any more problems. I just want every instrument that's on stage. Now, this is my MD talkback. This is my drum talkback. These are my rooms. I don't need any of that. I don't need any of my vocal mics. Let's grab this acoustic, and then we're good to go. That's good. Now, the band all fader, why would I do that? Usually my band all fader is just a great way for my overall level of everything. So I can put my band all fader and my vocal fader next to each other and I can do super easy fade outs or fade ins uh, and make the band quieter, louder, push the band for like big sections. It just makes it easier instead of having to grab six faders at once, I can just grab one fader and it's awesome. So now how do I get my faders on, that my actual faders to be what I want them to do? So I set all this up. Let's back up. So what's amazing about this board is I can, now that my DCAs are set up, I don't have to jump through to my input list to find my drums. Everything, if I want to look at my drums, I can just select drums right here, press select on my DCAs. And if we look at my left fader bank, it spills everything onto my left fader bank. So check this out. So now I have access to my kick all of my all of my drums super easy to just jump to them now and that's why this board is so so powerful there's so many different ways to do things but i can really cater it to like how my workflow and how i want it to be and it just makes things super fast and super easy so i love that on this board so that's when i just press the select on my dcas and then i can mute all my drums now if that's off like all my drums are going to be muted and you can tell that by them blinking. So now on here, my uh, channels are blinking. And that, that is because a DCA is muting them. So also a good cue if you uh, are like wondering why sound isn't coming out. If your on button is blinking, it's because they're muted by a DCA somewhere. So now I don't want to be looking, this is like wasted space. I, I have DCAs on here that I'm not looking at. So I set up custom fader layers for myself. So what can we, how can we do that? I'm gonna go up here to my setup. I'm gonna go user setup, and I'm gonna to go to custom fader. Now, up here, this bay L, bay C, and main, this gives you the different layers that I can create this on, okay? So my main would be my little screen over here and my like four faders I have going on over here, I think. Yep, four faders. So on that, I always want that to be my mix bus. So we want output, and I'm gonna put my, this stereo A right there. And then B, I'm gonna put my sub matrix right here. And then C and D, so I like my, personally, I like my house music and my video being right here. Um, and what's great is even though it's a stereo channel, I only need one fader. And because they're length, I can, I don't, I don't have to take up two faders for a stereo channel. I can just put one fader there and it's controlling both of them and it's awesome. So I'll put my video channel there. And now this is what my four faders, my four main faders are going to be. I, I have my, my main mix bus, my sub level, my uh, house music and video coming there. So that's great. On my left, this is like where I like to put my instruments and what I'm typically grabbing and, and moving uh, on a granular level, on a micro level. So I'm going to go, I'm going to name this. We'll just call this, I like to call it like show. And we'll call it left because it's on my left. So here, I'm gonna put my band fader. All right, we're back. Sorry, a bit of a technical disruption there, but uh, we're back at it. So 
we're making a custom layer. So I titled it show left. That's going to be on my left one. And what I like to see over there is my band fader. So I'm going to go over here to DCA and I'm going to put my band all. And then right next to it, I'm going to put my vocals all. And I just have it like that so I can just two-fingered, like, fade everything. It's going to bring everything down. It'll be great. And, uh, yeah, so then next to that, I'm going to put my tracks. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to put my perk tracks. Then I'm going to put my keys tracks. And I'm going to put my background vocal tracks. And then let's say keys one. Keys two. We'll put electric one here electric two here and then uh typically it's just mic two three four for us that is our lead vocals like so i'll just put those here uh it could be anything else but um i definitely want my lead vocalist like that's where my hand's going to be laying most of the time and good to go there. Now I'm going to go to my center and I'm going to call this show. See, and that's for center console. Now this, I'm going to make my DCAs. So all these are going to be DCAs. So super easy, uh, bass. And this is just to control like my overall shaping of things. Um, so you know, I can do granular maneuvers here to like adjust, you know, my keys two and keys one balance or my guitar balances. But then I just have a guitar fader to like do all of my guitars. So, oops, we'll do tracks here. Now this vocals, I'm going to put my delays and my verbs right here. And this way I have c control of like how wet my vocals are. If I want them to be more delay driven or verb driven, I, I've got basically an overall effects blend here. Now I can put like my house music here. I can put my video. And then for me, I like to put like my host and my pastor mic here. And that's, and it'll be on every layer. So no matter what, my host and my pastor mic are always in the same place. So I'll put that here. Boom. So this is this. That's what this bay is going to look like. And the other one's going to be my granular one. And this gets me pretty far here. So I've set those up. Now, how do I recall these on my fader bank? So I'm going to go home and there's a couple different ways to do it. Uh, I can go to this custom right here and on this bay, it'll say show C boom. And that's where we're at. Now you see exactly what I set up here. These are my DCAs my iPad, my video, and then uh, my host and my pastor here. So it's all really straightforward. Um, now, again, that's an easy way to get to it, but that's two button clicks I gotta do. I gotta click custom and then I gotta click show C. So I can set this up to, to be on the DM7, you have like a couple like user defined buttons I can set up here. So let's set that up. So I'm gonna go here, to back to, we did custom fader. I'm gonna go user defined keys. Now again, surface is gonna be what's on here. My utility screen is what my little screen with my four faders over here is. So you, what we want is my surface. And uh, I have A, B, C, and D. And what I can do is I can cycle through those on, on my buttons there. So what I will do here is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say edit this label. So I'm gonna go fader bank, I'm gonna go my left bay and I'm going to go custom and I'm going to go 1A. And I know it's 1A because we set it up that way. I'm going to go OK. And now I'm going to title that. So I'm going to edit label. I'm going to go this one right here. It's telling us what it's going to do. I'll leave that. I'm going to go, we'll call this showtime left. And we'll call this left. Cool. Really easy. Uh, you got to make the, tell it what to do before you can title it. So fader bank select, we're going to go, this is our center bay. We're going to go custom. We're going to go 1A, boom. And we're going to title this showtime. And we're going to say center. Good, white, yes. So now I have buttons that'll recall my showtime on my left and my showtime on my 
middle uh, console and no matter what, that'll always be there. And uh, it's great. And like I said, with these DCAs, with, between these two screens, I can get everywhere I need to get. On my DCAs, if I want to see my drums, I don't have to click around and find my drums. I can just set, press select on this DCA and it'll spill it out on my other one here on my other screen. And so that's great. I can get to everything that is routed basically on my board just with these DCAs. And then again, if I need to get to my outputs, they're just up here. If I need to adjust anybody's in-ears, if I need to get to a specific channel on my inputs, I can just go up here on this. And it's a pretty quick way for me to navigate through the board. And like I said, this is just like a workflow thing, a preference for me. There's so many different ways to do this board, which is amazing. And uh, because you can just customize it to be whatever you want. Yeah, that's how I set up my DCAs and my physical faders. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking it out. If you have any questions, as always, let me know.